A Fox 2 follow up now. A meeting 90 miles south of St. Louis in Fredericktown gets heated when Critical Mineral Recovery announces plans to rebuild. The recycling center was destroyed in this massive fire last month and evacuations and health concerns were sparked and Fox Files investigator Chad Mira shows you the right. new plans for this site. I got it. Fredericktown resident Kimmy Royer showed up at what we were told was meant to be a private meeting. We live off our grass and our air and our water. People packed the room to hear about Critical Mineral Recovery's plans to rebuild after last month's massive fire. This is a huge farming community, not just with cattle. We are cattle farmers, um, but crops, you know, and that should have all been taken into consideration. And plus, they put this thing a half a mile from our school. On October 30th, CMR was destroyed, forcing surrounding homes to evacuate as the EPA monitored air quality. The EPA did find incident-related contaminants, but said concentrations were below threshold levels. After two weeks on site, the EPA left town last week. Attorney Al Watkins addressed people's concerns on behalf of CMR. He says CMR wants to rebuild. The question is where. The goal is to start in very short order, the rebuilding process. You can't rebuild where the fire was until where the fire was is remediated. We don't know if we want to wait that long. As plans start to move forward on rebuilding this facility out here, they're still looking into exactly what caused that fire to spread so quickly. That fire went from a small, containable location on one end of a 225,000 foot factory, warehouse, processing center, and in 89 seconds it was engulfed. Watkins says CMR had invested in a new state-of-the-art fire suppression system, but he says the system failed. We contacted the maker of the fire suppression system, but didn't hear back. Watkins says when CMR rebuilds, it'll be bigger and safer. They can say what they want in here today, but the people of Madison County need to get together and we need to make a decision on whether we're going to allow this. CMR also committed to paying its employees at least through November 29th. For the Fox Files, I'm Chad Mira.